going on guys? Frank here with 10 Back Bowling, here to uh, showcase the all new Brunswick Knockout Bruiser. Uh, this ball has a stronger cover than uh, the Knockout Black and Blue, same type of core. Uh, so I'm expecting a lot more motion uh, than the um, uh, Knockout Black and Blue. My Knockout Black and Blue, uh, when I had it, was uh, very clean through the front, smooth down lane. Uh, I really liked it when I bowled on tougher lane conditions. So. Uh, I'm interested to see if this is going to be a ball that's going to match up for me in my uh, tournament bag or if this is going to be something that I'm going to put in my league bag. So let's go out onto the lanes and uh, throw it a few times. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. All right, guys, we went with a pin-up layout on this bowling ball. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing just like all the other videos. We're going to start in the track and work our way left. A lot of ball there. That's really early. Pretty good. All right, so, so far so good. Clean up the track area. Definitely see a lot of early motion uh, out of this one. Felt like I had to be a little more speed dominant to get it to go down the lane. So we're gonna move another five left, get a little more in the comfort zone and see what we have there. All right, so there was a comfort zone. Uh, definitely a lot more bowling ball than the black and blue is. Uh, this one definitely starts up sooner. Still has the round shape that the black and blue did for me. Um, it's, just, it's just much earlier, and I definitely feel like it's forcing me farther left than I would have to be with the black and blue. So we're gonna take one more step to the left, play the big wheel, and see what we have there. See, that's where the black and blue is different. Black and blue doesn't get there. Ooh, that's wide right. Ooh, almost got there. That's right again. Ooh. That's better. Okay. Not quite enough. All right, guys, there you have it. Brunswick Knockout Bruiser. Uh, this ball is definitely going to be on the stronger side of the symmetrical line, no matter where you're going to be putting it in your bag. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of bowling ball uh, for this broken down house shot. So uh, definitely, I think this is going to be in my tournament bag as opposed to my league bag. Um, because it's just, uh, it, it's just so strong. Uh, when I'm bowling on a little higher volumes, uh, I can definitely see this ball being, uh, being taken out and thrown for uh, some of those um, higher scoring, uh, higher volume patterns, and uh, when I need to uh, keep my angles a little straighter. Um, going left to right was, uh, was a little bit of a challenge on this because of how early the ball wanted to pick up. Um, but it still it still got through the pins pretty good uh, playing that far left. So not uh, not a disappointment in any in any way, shape, or form in this one. I just think it's going to be a little more on the conditional side for me. Uh, if you're looking for that stronger symmetrical piece, I definitely take a peek at this one because I think you're going to get uh, a lot of predictable motion out of it. 
along with some versatility as well. Um, that being said, go ahead and pre-order yours today or stop by Ten Back Pro Shop here in uh, Park Center Lanes in Canton, Ohio and get one too. Till next time, we'll see you guys soon.